Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is a very, very exciting video because I am going to be talking about majoring in dance in college. Today's video, I'm just gonna give a rundown on what, what it is to be a dance major. This video is gonna be a series, so make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be talking a lot more about being a dance major and the audition process and everything under the sun to do with that. So anything I don't mention in the video, put in the comment section below and I'll make sure to touch on that in the next video. So for anyone who doesn't know, I am a sophomore currently at the Boston Conservatory at Berklee College of Music. Of course, I will be talking about my college because that's all I know really, but I've talked to a few people from other colleges and other dance majors, so I can give you as much as a wide range of information about dance programs as I possibly can. Just a little disclaimer before we get into this video, I am not at all certified to be talking about this information. This is just all information that I've gotten from my experience searching for colleges and being in a program myself, and I thought I could share that with you because if I was in your shoes, I would have loved to hear this from a dance major themselves, so. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into it. I like to split up the dance programs into three categories. There's commercial, concert, and ballet. Now commercial is everything that's all on camera work, all LA based choreography. This is hip hop, jazz, but basically they do everything. The second one is ballet. These are strict, strict ballet programs that do a Nutcracker every year and they do really strict ballet, straight choreography. And the third and final program is going to be concert, modern, contemporary program. This is what most dance colleges are and what I will be talking about mostly today as that is the program that I do. I would also like to note that this is my way that I break down the dance programs, just works the best in my head. But nowadays, everyone is trying to be as well-rounded as they can, that every dance program teaches and offers a wide variety of classes, so it's not always this way. So you might be asking yourself, what even is being a dance major and what does that even entail? Majoring in dance means that you will obtain a BFA, which is a Bachelor in Fine Arts for your dance program. And that means that if you are trying to get jobs, it just gives you that extra stamp of approval to prove that you've been working at your craft for the past four years. Another thing you need to think about before choosing your dance program would be whether you want to go to a big university or a small conservatory type of school. A big university would be schools like USC or University of Arizona where you can have a real college experience along with your dance training. One thing I do want to note is that I'm also minoring in business, which is also something that a lot of dance programs offer. A business minor is a great thing to do because you are marketing yourself as a dancer, so it's a great thing to study. Another thing you might want to think about is being a double major. Let's say you're not very interested in being a dance major altogether and you kind of want to go into another avenue. Now, if that is the case, I talked to my friend at the University of Florida. She's graduated last year. Shout out to Ellie. And she has friends that were double majors, but I would also like to note that at her school, if you are a dance major and want to double major in another avenue, that means you have to stay at the school for five years. So definitely something to note and something to think about when looking for your dance program. I thought it was a good idea to break down my schedule personally and just explain each class and what different classes you get to take as a dance major. The first class I want to talk about is ballet. Now at my school, we take ballet five times a week with having point three times a week as well. That I feel like is very self-explanatory. While every school has ballet, they all have different approaches to it, so it just depends on what program you choose. The next thing I want to talk about is the modern classes. I had never really had a true training in modern, although I went to summer intensives or programs where I would get take modern classes and stuff, I had never gotten a true modern training, which is very, very common. Don't feel discouraged at all if you haven't had modern training because they're definitely gonna start from the beginning when you go to college. Now I'm also gonna give a little explanation on what modern exactly is because definitely when I was in high school, I had no idea what modern is. Now modern dance was established in the late 19th century and it was created as a means to rebel classical ballet. So basically they would take classical ballet and turn it over on its side in any way they thought possible. Now, when you hear modern dance, you probably hear about a lot of different choreographers like Graham, Lamone, and Horton. These people are basically leading figures that 
ran their own company and created their own personal modern technique. Now this is normally what you study in college. So basically at most colleges every year you do a different type of modern technique and study that for all year or all semester long until you know it as well as possible. So let's say freshman year is Limon and then sophomore year is Graham and then senior year is Important. It's all just different. At my school, we do different types of modern techniques every single semester. I have modern three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The next thing I want to talk about is the electives. Now, every school electives are different. There's certain electives that are mandatory for school. This is the time that people take the opportunity to do different things like jazz, musical theater, tap, anything that isn't mandatory to take at our school but are really interested in doing anyways. This is really the moment where you kind of explore into other avenues to make you more of an individual. My advice to you is take the opportunity to do something you've never done before. This semester I took gyrokinesis and I've been loving it. Don't be afraid to try something new. If you see something on the schedule and you've never heard of it before, ask a few upperclassmen and see what they say. And Try out the class. Next, you have a class like improv. Now, I only had improv that was mandatory freshman year, and we had it once a week for an hour and 10 minutes, I think. Then you have dance composition class. I'm not gonna lie, when I got my schedule freshman year, I was like, what the heck is composition? <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. So dance composition is a choreography class. It is mandatory at my school for two years. And then if you wanna take it beyond that, you can continue to do that. And that is called having an emphasis in composition within your major. Next, I'm gonna be talking about dance academics. Now, this is a really, really big reason why you should consider being a dance major, because if you really want to pursue this in your life, then you're gonna to wanna to know as much information as you possibly can about dance. The class I really enjoyed taking was a dance history class because I really got to dive deep into learning more about how dance started and just overall the history behind dance and now I just feel like I know so much more knowledge about being a dancer. Another class that a lot of programs offer is of course anatomy. This is so that you can actually understand your body more. I'm just gonna list off a few classes that they offer at my school. Obviously this is just my personal experience but these are certain classes that you will possibly take as a dance major. At my school it's mandatory to take modern partnering which is self-explanatory it's like ballet partnering but modern it's also mandatory to take ballet partnering we have a music foundation class then you have your liberal arts classes this is basically the academic classes that a normal college student would take and are required to take these are things like creative writing math science you know that normal college stuff and finally i want to talk about the reason why i am a dance major is because of performing. I personally love performing. My major is technically contemporary dance performance, so performing is very, very, very important to me. Most colleges have performances multiple times a year. Every college has a different number. Some colleges like mine don't have freshmen perform either the first year or the first semester, depending. But other than that, everyone usually performs. When it comes to performing, every school does this thing called a residency. See, I never experienced this before college. What a residency is, is a period of time where they take a resident choreographer and they come in and they set a piece on your class, on that group of people to perform in the show. This is a great opportunity to learn and take class from these professional choreographers that have choreographed in many other companies and many other institutions and it's overall a great experience because you're just opening your eyes to more information. So yes, that's basically all the information I have about being a dance major. I can give more tips and tricks and more information in our next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on TikTok, of course, and follow me on Instagram. My links are down below. And subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video.